What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I am doing your assumptions and questions about me. Can I just say some of these questions, guys? Slap on the wrist. Slap on the wrist. Kind of going through some of these for the first time. We're going to go through and pick out the ones that I feel like answering because some of these I don't really know. Uh, like, you have a fat, pussy, juicy, juicy slay queen. Yes. Nice. Um, yeah. That cool <laughs> so let's do these assumptions and i'm also going to do some of the ones that you guys put on youtube first one we'll start simple is favorite food it used to be a chicken palmy for the longest time this might start the debate is it a palmer or a palmy it's a palmy sorry to break it to you guys i don't want to start an argument in the comments but it's a palmy my favorite food now would be sushi but i also really like korean barbecue as of late but yeah i'm gonna say sushi basic bitch i know do you know what this reminds you of you know when you'd play 21 questions back in the day i don't know if anyone did that but that was like a thing i feel in adelaide guys would be like do you want to play 21 questions and you'd be like okay and they go you start and i'll be like what's your favorite color and then they'll be like blue <laughs> my turn are you a virgin oh that always like the conversation so sexual and i feel like this is how it's gonna go i'm gonna start with some innocent ones and they're gonna be like tee -hee, you wanna <laughs> Okay, sorry, it was a bit much. Why do you look like Sky Bree? I don't know who Sky Bree is. I swear to God, is if this is a star, Sky Bree is a blonde knockout from Lanchester. Girl, what? Who is she? Twenty guys versus one girl. Star Sky Bree. Guys, stop comparing me to stars. We look nothing alike. But you have just outed yourself, sir, for too much graffiti. It's rotting your brain. You're getting brain rot. Did you play any sports in school? I did a lot of sports growing up. Not necessarily in school. Like, I went to a public school, so I just did whatever. But out of school, I used to do gymnastics for years. And then I also tried tennis. I've done trampolining. I've done soccer. I've done football. I've done... I've done it all. You hate all men. Why do you guys say I hate men? Oh my goodness, this started ever since I said back in the Andrew Tate era that I do not like him and I think he's a terrible role model for young men. I still stand by that. I'll go to my grave with that. There are so many better role models for men out there. I don't hate men. I hate men like Andrew Tate. I'll stand behind that. And this is what I was always saying about Andrew Tate. A recent law got passed in Australia. Now they're going to be educating young boys in school how to respect women and not abuse them. And apparently this is come because of big influences. And they mentioned Andrew Tate as an example on social media it has caused a lot of issues in school with boys being mean to girls. And they've noticed a rapid incline in domestic violence. Not saying that's that part is linked to Andrew Tate, but just like whatever's happening at the moment has been an increase. And that's why I say people like him is toxic masculinity and I don't stand by it, but I stand by men. Let's get better role models and I don't hate men, okay? I'm never answering that question again. <sighs> Please. Um, You are married. Yes, actually I'm married with eight kids. I live on a small farm and I managed to stream at the same time by raising my massive family. What is your favorite thing to do if you're not doing work? sleep. <laughs> I feel like when I'm not doing work, I'm planning new ideas for work and I just have so many different ventures that I'm always working. I feel like such a boring person. They're like, what, what are your hobbies you have? I'm like, nothing. I used to draw a lot, which I kind of miss. I used to exercise a lot, which I've stopped at the moment, um, but probably just movies and I don't really have free time to do anything. It's kind of sad. You're kind of slutty. Nice. <laughs> Nice. Okay. You're actually the kindest person in TOS. I think everybody's nice in their own ways in TOS, so I don't want to take the title of that, you know? You are very picky. I think you should be picky when it comes to partners. You're just not going to be very happy in it. I wouldn't be very happy if I found out my partner just settled for me. So uh, I th I'd say be picky, but be picky in the right ways. So like how they treat you and things like that. There's nothing wrong with having look preferences. I always say write a list down of your qualities and be realistic and write a list of the qualities you expect out of a partner and see if they line up because you might, that's a good way to tell if you're asking for a lot. I think everyone should be a little bit picky. Um, I have about a hundred questions asking about a relationship status. Are you single? <laughs> Are you single? Guys, I don't really like talking about like relationship stuff only because it just, I feel like it gives a wrong idea. I don't want to be like, yeah, I'm single. You know, I don't want to lead anybody on to think like, I don't make content so you can think you can date me. I want to make content to make your day. So I honestly don't answer it and haven't for a very long time. It just, you just don't win. You say yes, they get angry. You say no, they get angry. It's like, ah! 
You secretly love Andrew Tate. Honestly, I'm not going on another rant. Just fast forward back to where we were before to listen to my rant. <laughs> no. You ever kicked a guy in the nuts? No, I think that's a very mean thing to do. The closest I've ever done is I remember my dad threw a caramelly koala at me when I was a kid. I was a kid. So I threw it back at him, but I like landed in his area. And I just remember he was so angry and in so much pain. So that's probably the closest to kicking somebody in the nuts. You are tough on the outside, but inside you're very sweet and actually very kind. Do I actually give off that much of a tough persona to you guys? I think I am sweet, but maybe it's just deep down, deep down where well, you guys can't see, I don't know. You look intimidating, but are actually really kind and caring. I don't get the intimidation thing. What makes somebody intimidating? Is it that you think I'm going to like bite your head off? I just don't know. You are secretly a lesbian. Once again, guys, who knows? Who knows? You know, you would be a kick-ass mom. I hope I would be a kick-ass mom, but I don't know. We might never know. Popular in high school. I get this one a lot. And I feel like this comes down to the stereotypes in uh, films where they always make the blonde, the popular mean one, like Regina George. Love her. No, I was actually such a weird kid. An example of this is I don't like groups of people. So I'm like very awkward and quiet in groups of people. I used to have a lisp at the start of high school, which I got bullied for pretty bad. And then I just didn't really speak because of it. And then later on, I, you know, got bullied by my friends, ended up having no friends for a period of time, then got a really good friend. And when I would go to art class, we'd just hang out in art class, recess, lunch. And then I used to wag school during like those times so I didn't have to see people with my one friend. But to greet them, when I'd walk into class, instead of being like, hi, I'd go like a freaking lizard. Like I was just weird. I was just weird and I'm still kind of weird, but you know, maybe, maybe I deserve to be bullied, you know? You receive heaps of dick pics. No, I don't receive heaps of dick pics because you guys used to send me some and I would post them into a dick pic channel in the Discord for a while to basically public shame you, like the little bells from Game of Thrones, shame. Uh, because I don't want your unsolicited dick pics. So we will critique as a Discord of over 5,000 and rip it apart, okay? And then another time this guy just would not stop sending dick pics. And I remember I, <laughs> I, I replied and I said, oh, like, is it meant to bend that way? Like, you should probably get that checked out. He fucking blocked me. <laughs> so yeah, no, I don't because that's the one time where I will be mean. You're as innocent as you look. I don't believe you have a dark side. What's the dark side? Like I go Dexter after stream. I'm like, cool, stream's done. Now it's time to go out and pick a victim. <laughs> You mean? You're a very tall girl. I am five foot seven. I thought I was five or eight until recently at the hospital where they measured me. And I'm 172 centimeters, not 173. So probably not super tall. You secretly don't like some of the TOS girls. I hate them all. I hate them all. Start the drama. I don't even know what to say. Just so much anger. No, I don't hate anybody. Which TOS video was the most fun to do? I reckon our very first video, hide and seek in that giant playground. I just got to live out my childhood fantasy of having a playground all to myself. So that was pretty fun. I think you have a secret OnlyFans account. No, I don't have a secret OnlyFans account. And also for the other hundred people that asked, do I have an OnlyFans? When are you starting OnlyFans? Do you have OnlyFans? You're thirsty, all right? Get some water. Have a drink. No, I don't have an OnlyFans. Do I intend to start an OnlyFans? No. Do I dislike people who have OnlyFans? No, I don't. We don't need to put down girls who do that or guys that do that. And yeah, I just don't really intend to do OnlyFans because I, I don't know. It's just not my kind of thing. But yeah, I have no issue with people who do it. Uh, but please stop asking me. I find it really weird when people on the internet are like, do you know how you can make so much money? Get OnlyFans. I'm like, mate, you're telling me to get into the photography industry. No. Have a fashion advisor or something. You mean you think I have a fashion stylist? I'm flattered, but uh, no. <laughs> lesbian? I'm getting a lot of lesbian questions. It's interesting. At this stage of my life, no. <laughs> but who knows? Who knows down the track? You know, women are hot. Women are hot. Oh my goodness. Has anyone given you a wedgie before? What is with this wedgie fetish? I feel like I've ended up on wedgie fetish recently and I don't know how I got here and I don't like it. Okay, and now we're on the foot fetish. Ticklish feet. Okay, seriously guys, questions of substance, please. You were the snobby popular bitch in high school. <gasps> He's killing me. I'm so sick of people saying this to me. And this is why Hollywood's frustrating. They always have the popular one as the blonde. And I shit you not, this is something my whole life that people think and they actually dislike you because they, you know, you are what's portrayed as what would be the bitch in school. But I'm telling you, I feel like this is the furthest thing from the truth. Growing up, the, like the pretty ones in my school were not the bitchy ones. Like all the girls that were like really pretty in my school were not mean. They were really nice. If anything, they were in my school doing drugs <laughs> and um, probably dating some of the popular boys. I just, I feel like some of the meanest girls are the ones that are insecure and then they project. You have an unreasonably deep hatred of men. Why? Oh my God. 
God, why? I need to know why. I need to know why you guys think this. Why do you barely post on YouTube? Look, guys, I'm I'm shit at posting straight up. I do apologize. I do have two channels, which I try to post between. I think my biggest problem is trying to take up too many projects. Um, I am a full-time streamer, so YouTube's kind of my side gig. And then I always try to get micro content out on like all my other platforms. But yeah, I just have a hard time managing all of it. So I have slacked off and I don't have anyone to make my compilations for me anymore. And I'm just struggling to keep up with everything. And I definitely want to mix the content for you guys. And it's just been really hard to get on top of. But yeah, I do apologize, but you know, maybe in the new year. Are you and creator related? No. And before you ask, we were never dating. No. You have large male genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for you to ask this. No, okay. Yeah, it's really big. You'd, you'd be really impressed. What are your top three favorite bands slash musicians? I feel like when I get asked questions like these, I forget. So, Bring Me The Rise number one. Linkin Park, number two. And there's another little small band called uh, The Butterfly Effect. And I think they're actually a band from Brisbane. But there's like one album of theirs that I just love and listen on repeat. If I had to suggest some songs from that album, it's uh, Crave or Beautiful You or Always. They're some of my favorite ones on repeat from that band. But yeah, they're my top three favorite bands. Just a little emo at heart still. Why are you unapproachable? I feel like I am. Um, okay, I don't know. I don't know. But I just feel like maybe it's my resting bitch face. I get really bad anxiety when I go out to public spaces, crowds especially. So I think I'm internally panicking. I think this is my face. <gasps> my earring just came out. That was freaky. But I think sometimes I don't think people realize like how anxious I get. Unless I'm drunk, then I'm fine. You are a right wing extremist. That's like an American term. So what is a right? I didn't spell right, right, right. Fuck. I can't spell. I just forgotten how to spell wing. What is it? It is important to note that a right wing extremist do not always involve violent extremist movements groups in... I can't be bothered looking at it. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Maybe give me an example in the comment section. I'll reply to you there, but I don't even know what that is. Did you study at college or university? And if yes, what? Well, I used to study at TAFE and I did fashion design for a little bit, but then I didn't only did a few certs in it before I became a streamer. So it's something that I might go back to in future, but I didn't know what I wanted to study and I didn't want to go in and just study something for the sake of it because the debt that you would have from a student loan wouldn't be worth it. And that's how a lot of my friends got caught out. They just studied because it was what they should do. And then they ended up with these massive debts and they're not even working at the job that they studied for. So yeah. You think you're hot shit. Some of these are so passive aggressive. I feel like I'm doing that like negative tweet one that they do with the celebrities. You only date tall buff dudes with a and he wrote six pack, S-I-C, like sick pack, sick pack. And he wrote pack, P-A-C. You only date tall buff dudes with a sick pack. I don't think I've ever dated anybody with abs. What's your opinion on latex clothing and would you wear latex? <laughs> Guys, what is this? Get me out. No, no BDSM shit. No. I work in a library, so I always ask, what is your favorite book? I haven't done a lot of reading in my life. I'm just straight up. I know that might come as a shock to some of you. I really liked this fan fiction One Direction book growing up. I know, judge me. It's still like a guilty read. It's such a shit book now I'm older and I'm like, why did I like this? But it's still probably one of my favorite books. It's kind of what got me into reading, but I like self-help books like 101 essays and things like that. Yeah, I don't get a lot of time to read, read, but I do read manga. So I'd say that anything from Junji is probably my favorite book, but does that count? Cause it's kind of like picture books. If you're with a high value man desired by many, but loyal and loving to you, would it make you jealous? Why would it be jealous of any guy loyal and loving to me? I hate the term high value man, high value woman. I feel like the ones that say I'm a high value woman or I'm a high value man are normally not. They're normally the biggest red flag. <laughs> I can't. Is it tough being a female streamer in Australia? Ah, uh, no, I would say it's like an amazing job and I'm very fortunate to be able to do it. I think sometimes reading very sexual comments constantly can be frustrating, but it's definitely like, it's just like one, you know, a couple of negatives to an amazing job. So I would say, no, I'm very, very lucky to do the job that I do. Are you secretly married? Getting a lot of these questions, uh, no. And I only found out recently how expensive weddings are. So probably never. <laughs> what made you start streaming? I started streaming because all my friends are partying and I was 20 and I was staying in cause I didn't like partying. And I was playing like horror games on my PlayStation and I was just so lonely. And then I remember posting what games I was playing and someone was like, you should stream. And I was terrible at YouTube editing. So I did try and do YouTube back in the day, but I could not edit. So I started streaming and then it just became a job. I literally, I just loved it. I loved the interaction of talking to people. They told me where to go in a game when I got lost. Like I'm the one streamer that doesn't mind a backseat game because man, I'm telling you when I first started, I needed it. What is your dream car to have one day? I don't care a whole lot for cars. I drive a little Suzuki Swift sport manual. I like the car. I think I'll just keep it till it breaks. I think I'd like an electric car one day or like a hybrid, but I don't know. I think if I was rich, maybe a Porsche. I think they're like very classy 
the old money look. Uh, they're also super expensive to run and I just don't see them very viable unless you have a massive income. So probably just a little eco-friendly cheap car to run because if you see the petrol prices, you were going to learn an instrument, what would you learn and why? I just got Rocksmith on the computer and I do have guitars. I have an electric guitar and acoustic guitar guitar i'm stuttering i would like to learn how to play guitar uh and then probably piano it's like the two that i really want to learn and then how to sing because i can't sing somebody just replied with a photo of themselves <laughs> you enjoy eating sour lollies like warheads probably not warheads but i do like sour lollies so maybe my limit would be like nerds i don't know what a sour lolly is anymore i don't really eat lollies i feel like they're just like empty calories but i did used to eat them a lot there used to be this like one lolly and it was like it looked like a baby pop or something and you dip it into this really acidic sour stuff and i had it so much that it burnt and scarred my tongue as a kid <laughs> definitely a person that would video chat with her doggos Yep. My assumption is that you don't mind if a guy is very well endowed. My Instagram is literally the pits of hell. I don't think about a guy's dick. Straight up. Guys, stop thinking with your dicks. Think with this brain, not that brain. Oh my God. I just spilled my drink. Spilled my drink. Literally the next question is, what's the biggest dick you've had? Get help. Get help. Get off the on site. Get off of it. Man. Ah, that's painful. I swear these people be writing comments like this and then be like, why am I single? I just don't get it. <laughs> get help. You think pineapple and pizza is acceptable? Straight up, pineapple and pizza slaps. Come for me. And pineapple and burgers also slaps. I don't know if you guys agree, but you should agree. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Are you religious or spiritual? Uh, no, I, yeah, definitely no. I'm probably leaning towards the atheist side, or if not, I am an atheist. But I definitely respect, you know, that everyone, whether it be spiritual or religion, is, you know, entitled to that. And yeah, I'm just not religious. What is your best advice for anyone who wants to get into shape and have a sexy body? I don't know. I'm not a nutritionist or a uh, dietitian. Favorite game to date, Resident Evil 4. Still to this day, I love Resident Evil 4. And Dave the Diver. That's a new one that I recently discovered. Amazing. Did I imagine my life being like this five years ago? Um, no. I feel like social media is such a random thing. You don't know if you're going to be successful. You just don't really know what's going to end up. So no, I just kind of, I didn't start streaming or doing content with the intent for it to ever take off. Would you rather have no internet for a day or be tickled for a day? Um, no internet? Straight up. What tickling? That's like torture. I hate being tickled. Ugh. You are a neat freak slash clean freak. I have my messy days for sure, but I do like to keep things relatively clean. So I'd say just normal, probably. Hair care routine. I've been posting that kind of stuff on my my second TikTok Britney Allen channel, which I also have a YouTube channel if you guys wanted to check that one out. I'm gonna put a hair care routine on there soon. Some of these are unhinged. Do you ever miss Rainbow Six Siege? I do miss it sometimes. That was like one of the games that really helped grow my channel. So I definitely miss Siege and Ubisoft are amazing. Somebody just said rate me out of 10 based on my profile. Oh, some of these are crazy. Does it feel lonely being single? How's Cray? Have you ever kissed a fellow woman before? Who has the highest body count in TOS? Do you have an OnlyFans? Let's move on to the YouTube ones. Let's hope that you guys are a little bit better because these Instagram ones, honestly, pain. Are you going to do streams with Nalopia? I've seen the past ones with you and your sister have great, are great when streaming together. First of all, it's a joke that we're sisters. We're not related. We're just friends. And yeah, we've done some streams recently uh, together, but we're just so busy. Uh, we were mainly doing stuff in TOS together. So maybe in the future. Being a streamer, do you find that you can still maintain a healthy balance of streaming and normal day-to-day -day stuff? Um... No. <laughs> Honestly, I find myself, even when I'm trying to just do something like hang out with people or, you know, do something away from work, I'm still thinking about work. It's really hard to turn off. Something I need to work on. Living in a house with fellow streamers and friends has a lot of upsides, but are there any downsides you totally didn't expect? I would say um, maybe noise, but it doesn't bother me. I feel like you'd have to live with other streamers because if you're streaming at like 5 a.m. and screaming, nobody in this house says anything because they're just like, oh, shut your door or they put headphones on. Like when Spassi was doing like four days of 24 hour subathons. I just put some like rainforest music on to drown out. But if you don't have the music, you cannot sleep. But no, I don't really think there's too many downsides to it. When you film any videos or content in general, do you take comments to heart if they are rude or brush them off? I feel like 99% of the time I brush them off. So I feel like the opinions of others, if you don't care about them, you shouldn't really matter to you. Like the opinions that should matter are the people closest to you. But I think if you're having a bad day, sometimes it does get to you. I'm like, damn, like some people are so mean. You wanted to do more YouTube, but are unsure of your content wise. I'd say this is true. 
through. I do sometimes want to branch out of the reaction just to give you guys some variety. But I feel like with YouTube, you kind of have to stick to a certain type of content. So I do feel a little bit lost. Or if I have a really good idea, it's like hard to execute it. But yeah, I do hope to mix up the content for you guys in future. But yeah, it's also just finding new things to react to. But if you guys ever have any suggestions, chuck them down in the comments because it definitely helps. Do you feel like in the influencer industry, there is a lot of sexism? I would say in the gaming influencer scene, yes. Uh, but I don't know. I'm just kind of used to it now. I, I, yeah, I'd say within gaming, it's pretty bad. I think it's getting a little bit better. You want to visit England, but don't know when the best time to visit is. I've actually been to England twice before. Not a massive fan of London, but I think if I ever go back, I want to do more of the countryside. Yeah, I don't know if I plan to go back to England anytime soon. That is all the assumptions that you guys had for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Some of these were interesting and uh, I've realized some of you, uh, I've got brain rot from reading some of them, to be honest. I think the tally up of most asked questions would be, are you single? Are you a lesbian? And why do you hate men slash Andrew Tate? They're definitely the top three most asked questions. So uh, thanks for that, guys. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.